Guys, remember my Selena Cosme at Javanensis Rehouse video? If you haven't watched it yet, I will link that in the description below. But I rehoused her yesterday. By the time I upload this video, it's probably going to be a week after. But this was her previous enclosure. As you can see, she wept up quite a bit. But before I rehoused her and destroyed everything, pretty much the whole thing was webbed up. And I felt so bad for destroying her web. And I did mention that she should web up her new enclosure. So I'm going to be filming for a whole week, seven days, to see her progress in webbing up her new enclosure. This has just been 12 hours after the rehouse. You see, she has webbed up pretty much her entrance to her burrow. Pretty cool. I'm going to come back tomorrow morning to see how much more webbing she would have done, so stay tuned for that. Here is the second day. Just a little bit more webbing, but not too complex just yet. But whatever it is, she seems to be adapting pretty well in her new enclosure. I'm now waiting for that package of my dream tarantula that I mentioned should be arriving anytime now so i think that video will be up before this one so i will link that video in the description below here's day number three yep definitely more webbings i can see the webbings on the sides are all very stringy yesterday that wasn't there entrance to the burrow is getting thicker and thicker So today's the fourth day and as you can see she is still doing a lot of webbing. As soon as I touched the cover to open it, she bolted into her burrow. And as you can see there's a Turkistan roach down there, just fed her. And the webbings have been quite a lot. So we'll let her enjoy her meal and we will check on her tomorrow. Check out the fifth day, you guys. Look at that. That's like a lot and a lot of, look at that one. Lots of webbing. Eventually, it's just going to be pure web and you can't see the coconut fiber. So, can't wait for that. These guys web up pretty dang fast. But one thing I don't like is when they web up the water dish as well. Because when I lift this up, well, now it doesn't mess it up, but when there's a lot of webbing, it's just gonna like lift up all of these other webbings and it's so annoying. But let's come back tomorrow and check on this again. Just a quick update on my Aphrobopus murinus. She has, as you can see, she's covered up the entrance of that hide. As soon as I touch the enclosure, she bolted into her hide. So as you can see, she is using the side of that height. Let's see if we can see her. can only see legs. Yeah, that's the furthest my phone can go. I forgot to film the sixth day. I literally forgot because I had so much of things in my mind. It was New Year's and had friend gatherings and stuff like that. But anyways, this is the seventh day day after one week so you can see over here it's so thick you already can't see well you can't really see the coconut fiber that is under this part of the webbing it's not a good idea to do this at the selena cosme geminensis because she can just come on and tag but yeah just to show you guys so that is a lot of webbing for one whole week just imagine the weeks to come. So I think in the next feeding video, it's probably in a day or two, maybe three, I don't know, can't confirm yet. There's probably gonna be even more webbing. I know you guys are waiting for this month's feeding video. Nope, I did not forget. I've been getting a lot of comments about when I'm gonna be uploading it. Well, I have got a lot of clips here as you can see. These are all feeding videos for this month. I just didn't have time to complete it. This is only half of the collection. So 
when I get the time, I'll continue filming it and then get it uploaded, hopefully by this week. My plan was to get it out on New Year's Day itself, but that plan failed, unfortunately. So here's a small sneak peek to what you're going to see in this feeding video. There she comes. As for the rest, you're just going to have to wait. <laughs> 